a Euro Holiness, a distinguished members of the board of the American Bible Society, your eminences, metropolitans of our ecumenical patriarchate and the Archdiocese of America and bishops and clergy and uh, friends that are tonight here in this hall, such a scene as we see tonight would be unthinkable 50 years ago. Just unthinkable that an Orthodox presence so strong would be just in the center of the American Bible Society. But this is a reality tonight. And it's not only a temporary presence through our Metropolitan of Detroit, Nicholas and Mr. Dimitriou, we even participate in the Board of Trustees of the American Bible Society. And also we have this beautiful commemorative booklet of In the Beginning Was the Word that you produced with the text in 40 languages. We have been blessed by working in the field of spreading the word of God through the Bible all over the world. One of the very glorious predecessors of the present patriarch, Patriarch Photios, was the one who did a tremendous work through the Saint Cyril and Methodius by sending them to Central Europe and producing the Slavonic alphabet, which then make possible to have the Bible and the theological texts in the uh, Slavonic language, Slavic languages. The present patriarch, in addition of sending missionaries, he himself is running all over the world and being in direct touch with the places, not through texts, but through a very real human presence. He has been running from the Arctic down to Africa, from Far East to the Far West, all sorts of countries, cultures, languages. So he is de facto involved in promoting the word of the Bible all over the world and the word of the Orthodox faith and the Christian faith in general, the reconciliation among the people and the salvation of the environment. So tonight we have him here. It's a great honor for us to have our patriarch among us and also to have this event in this really venerable institution of doing a terrific work in translating the Bible into so many languages. There is a uh, slogan kind of thing in the entrance, orthodox image and life. May we add art too, because you do something which is not only good and proper, but also artistically very, very attractive. We are unfortunately very tight in terms of time, but we know from the Bible that we have some long texts, we have some short texts. We have the long Gospel of Matthew, the short Gospel of, Ma of Mark. We have the long letters of St. Paul, Romans, Corinthians, and the really graceful to Philemon, just one chapter. So we know that we could economize in terms of time and do things that we have to do. So let me close here ex expressing my deep thanks to the American Bible Society for organizing the Mobia, this exhibition, for doing, producing books, especially the book for the children, which has been a tremendous success in seven now languages. And just close with a uh, stanza from a Nobel laureate in poetry, a Polish Nobel laureate in poetry. In one of his poems, the first stanza reads as follows. I'm translating it in a prosaic, not poetic form. You ask me why I am reading the New Testament in Greek. I'm doing that because as I read the text and I let my fingers run through the lines of the text, 
I feel the nobility, the purity, and the beauty of a superb language in which the word of God was expressed. We are lucky to have this text, the original text, as something related directly to our church linguistically, and we are thankful because you do such a wonderful work in properly translating this text without sacrificing either truth or beauty of the text. Thank you.